Hey, Stephen from TechMaker.tv here. This is building a link shortener with Rails 6 part 10. In this video, we're gonna actually implement the redirect functionality so that you can start to use the link shortener. So let's go ahead and jump in. To get started, I wanna create a new folder down here in my spec directory. I got some feedback that there's a better way to do some of the controller testing that we were doing, and I'm not gonna change this one, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, but I'm going to create a new folder called requests and we're going to write some request specs which is apparently a better way to do this now. So inside of my request directory I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this link redirection spec.rb and we're going to require the rails helper and then we're going to create a new spec uh, and we're going to say our spec dot describe a new set of specs rather um, and then we'll say uh, link redirection and then it's type request and that's how we wrap that up okay so let's start by just adding a simple spec um, so it redirects to the original URL for a given short link. Something like that. Uh, we can play with the wording later. So what we need to do actually first is create a link. So I'm going to go over here to my uh, links controller and I'm actually just going to copy this little bit of code right here and paste it inside of my test. I don't need an instance variable. And we don't want to pass in anything from params. We just want to pass in a URL directly. So let's go grab a URL. So I'm over on techmaker.tv, uh, shameless plug for the website. We've just kind of redone all of this. We haven't actually uh, started posting all of our content yet, but we're going to kind of build this out a little bit more. But I did post one blog post um, that we can use here. So I'm going to copy this URL. Obviously, you can copy any URL that you want. And then back in our code, I'm just going to say URL there, and then I'm going to create a URL equals, and then paste in that long URL from the techmaker.tv website. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to do something where I get a particular URL. So let's, let's just say we want to do something like this. We want to get something like slash some stuff, and we want to expect that the response uh, is actually redirecting to this link. So I'm realizing that that's really not specific enough. So let's look up the link.rb. So if you remember, we have this shortened URL method. And so we end up with localhost 3000 slash, and then we have this lookup code, right? So what we want to do I'm actually not sure how that's going to play with the server um, if I run the test. Let's just see what happens if I run this get short, um, link dot shortened URL. Let's just run this test like this and see what happens. I'm wondering if it's going to blow up because there's no server running. No route matches. No, it seems like it works okay. It, I don't really know how that works on the back end. That might be something to investigate. Maybe they spin up a server or something. I, I'm really not sure. Um, anyway, so we're, we're trying to get localhost 3000 slash FECC8DA, which we can see right here. Um, so, but that's, that's already throwing an error, so that gives us something to fix. So we can go over to our routes. And so you can see here that we have post slash links is our uh, only, well that and then the root to home index is the only routes right now. So if we do get, and then we do string slash, and then maybe we can call this like um, code, what do we call that here? Lookup code, lookup code. So what this is going to do, um, so the routes as whenever it, Whenever you have a request that comes in, it starts going down like from top to bottom through the routes to try to pattern match and find something that it can point to. So this basically, the syntax here, we have colon and then something. 
what this does is creates a variable so anything slash anything will get caught by this so this will solve our problem in the test most likely if we run this again um, can't modify frozen array oh I have to point at something still oops so then we'll say links show and then that's going to tell me there's no show action most likely could not find show action on links controller so I'm kind of just fixing the errors in the test now so I'm trying to get to a point where I can finish making my point so that should probably fix the test no there's no template okay so let's just try to do head okay here and see if that gets us back to green here yeah cool so basically that's just saying hey say it's okay don't do anything so I want to go back to the point I was making before I uh, lose my train of thought so this is kind of a peculiar thing here because basically what this does is functions as a catch-all so what this means is like let me put a few examples so um, if you have slash you know hello or slash something else or slash all this crap or slash 404 or slash 500 all of these things are gonna get caught by this and then so what it's gonna do is it's gonna try to send all those requests um, to our links show controller and that's gonna be a problem so what happens in rails and this is a little bit of an aside but if you look here in this public um, directory you can see here there's a 404, 422, 405, or a 500 rather. And so these are just public, like static HTML pages. And so I'm not going to worry about it in this series, but I just wanted to point that out that by implementing this way, or implementing this this way, you're going to break all of your uh, static public pages in this directory um, because they won't be accessible anymore. Because if you get slash 404, instead of just rendering that HTML page from the public directory, it's actually gonna to try to look up something in the uh, links show action. So, I don't know, we might try to handle that in a future episode, I'm not sure. I don't know exactly how far I'm gonna go with this series. It depends on how interested people are. Um, so if you want me to do that, leave a comment below and uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, but for now, let's go back to our test over here. So what we wanna do is we just wanna simply expect request excuse me that should be response and then we're going to say so expect response dot to redirect to and then we'll say um, link dot original URL okay so when we call get link shortened URL it actually submits a get request um, or simulates one or something. I have to look at exactly how that works, but in any case, we end up with this response object uh, sort of automatically being given back to us. And uh, that's sort of the RSpec magic that's happening there. Um, and then it's able to listen and say, okay, we want this to redirect, the response to redirect us to this original URL. So let's run our test again and just see what happens. It's gonna give us an error, um, but let's see what it says. So expected response to be a 3xx redirect, but was a 200 okay. Okay, so let's just go over here and say, um, first of all, now we actually need to do some work here. So we need to say, well, you know what? We can probably at least resolve the error that was given to us by just doing a generic redirect. So we could do redirect to HTTPS so we'll just go google.com so let's see what this does hopefully it tells us something different but hopefully it's not green okay so now you can see here a little more specific error so this this kind of strategy of doing this is really just solve the error don't don't overdo it like just fix exactly what it's telling you and then let it tell you the next problem um, so expected response to be a redirect to and then it's expecting us to redirect to our specific URL, but instead it redirected to Google, basically. 
Okay, so that is doing what we want, right? So now we can do at link equals link dot find by uh, short code. Where is that actually? Uh, if we go to the schema, what do we actually have on here? Lookup code. And then we'll say uh, params lookup code. And just to point out why that's called lookup code, it's because we named it here. If we called it ID, it would be params ID. If we called it Bob, it would be params Bob, so on and so forth. So to so at link equals link dot find by lookup code, and then we will redirect to at link dot original URL. All right, let's run our tests. And we're green. So since we are not doing anything with the instance variable, like in a view or anything, we're just redirecting, we don't need to make it an instance variable. It can just be a local variable. Um, so we can run this RSpec thing. So this is gonna break um, if we try to run something with a lookup code that doesn't exist, um, which really sort of gets back into our 404 uh, dilemma and our 500 error and all this kind of stuff. So maybe that's something we need to do in the next episode is actually implement error handling here. Um, but let's go ahead and that's basically it for this episode, but I want to go ahead and run this in a browser and see how it works. Okay, moment of truth. I've got a browser open here. Let's start our Rails server. Okay, let's go to localhost 3000. I'm going to paste in my techmaker.tv URL, shorten, and I get this shortened URL. Okay, let's copy that paste it here and we're getting redirected to techmaker.tv so cool it works all right so we've completed a functional albeit not completely finished project here um, but we've got something cool working I'm pretty happy with this so there's gonna be a few more episodes sort of tying up loose ends cleaning things up a bit handling errors and so on and so forth However, I, if you've made it this far, I'm super happy, congrats, and uh, we did it. We got something working, so um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and um, I will talk to you in the next episode because that's it for this one.